Hi, I'm Andrew Hanneman with Camp Creatability. Each month, the Wisconsin Board for People with Developmental Disabilities puts out a newsletter. BPDD is experimenting with different ways to share this information because not everyone reads. We're helping BPDD by treating a video of their newsletter each month. March is Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. It's finally here, one of our favorite months of the year. Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. Governor Tony Evers has officially proclaimed March as DD Awareness Month in Wisconsin. The campaign Pain seeks to raise awareness about the contributions of people with the developmental disabilities make in all areas of community life, as well as awareness to the barriers that people with disabilities still face in connecting to the communities in which they live. Stay tuned to our social media accounts as we share stories of the contributions people with developmental disabilities make to their communities. You can also read the proclamation What's the word? Each month, BPDD features a different leader in Wisconsin living with a disability. What's the word is an opportunity to hear directly from self-advocates about what's important to them. This month's column comes from Philip Temme, a Madison area advocate who talks about how important the upcoming census this month is for the disability community. Philip is active in the community and does lots of public speaking through BPDD and his employer, the management group. Philip is also of the Self-Determination YouTube channel so you may recognize him from that. To read the article, follow the link. If you or somebody you know would like to be featured in What's the Word, contact Jeremy at jeremy.gunlock at wisconsin.gov. Employment First Conference. Registration is open. Want to get the latest strategies and tips for employing more people with disabilities? Save May 19th for BPDD's Annual Employment First Conference. This year's Employment First Conference will offer a variety of sessions geared toward policy, direct service, leadership, and advocacy, including sessions by state and national experts. This event is a great opportunity for service providers, direct service professionals, funders, people with disabilities, families, and others who support people with disabilities to achieve employment, make connections, and contribute to the community. Follow the link for registration. Event details. Conference session descriptions. CEUs, CRCs will also be available. A room block has been reserved at the Kalahari Resort for the night before the conference, May 18th until April 18th. For reservations, please click here. Two room types are available. Single rooms are available for $82 per night and rooms for two to four people are $129 per night. For more information on the room types, please visit the Kalahari website. Pick the Wisconsin Dells, click resort, and then click room type. Registration fees. Standard registration, $125. People with disabilities and family members of people with disabilities, $30. Aid to a person with a disability, $25. Micro enterprise vendor, $25. A limited number of scholarships to cover registration fees are available for people with disabilities and family members. Please contact Molly Cooney for more information. Molly Cooney at wisconsin.gov or call 608-266-0266. Circles of Life Conference 2020. Registration open. The Circles of Life Conference is coming up quick. Circles of Life 2020 is May 7th and 8th at the Glacier Canyon Resort, Wisconsin Dells. Circles of Life is Wisconsin's annual conference for families who have children with disabilities and the providers and other professionals who support them. If you are looking for more information on how to support someone with a disability in Wisconsin, then this is the perfect place to start. This year's theme is Seeing 2020, a better vision of the future. Registration open now. When you register for the conference, don't forget to sign your children up for a gathering of youth, respite, and or sip shop to register follow the links
For details, see the registration brochure. Did you know that if your child is on the Children's Long-Term Support Waiver or the Children's Community Options Program, you can use these funds to attend the conference, including registration, hotel, and travel? To learn more, see the helpful step-by-step -step guide on having waiver funds pay for the conference. If you or your child's service coordinator has questions, contact Kate Johnson, Bureau of Children's Services at the Department of Health Services at sarahk2.johnson at wisconsin.gov or by calling 608-267-4519. Disability Advocacy Day connects you with your legislators so you can talk about issues that matter to you. You are the expert in sharing new legislative policies affect people with disabilities in their everyday lives. Join us March 24th, 2020. 20, Minona Terrace Community and Convention Center, 1 John Nolan Drive, Madison, Wisconsin. Registration information. Register fee, $10 person. Order a lunch, optional, $10. You must register to participate. Direct care workers attending to assist you for the day must register for this event. Use your home voting address to register. Business addresses or P.O. boxes are not allowed. No on-site registration or walk Registration info can be found by following the link. Agenda at a glance. 9.30. Check in Monona Terrace. 10.30. Briefing on survival collisions, current issues. 12.15. Rally at the State Capitol Rotunda. 1 to 3. Attend legislative visits. 3 to 3.30. Check out and debrief after your visit at the Capitol. If you have any questions about the event, please contact Phil Clissa. Survival Collision W i at gmail.com do you know a high school student who is a leader or a budding advocate youth leadership forum is the perfect place to gain or refine leadership skills what will participants get out of the training leadership skills friends tips for self-advocacy practice for getting slash keeping a job fun edgewood college madison wisconsin July 19th to July 24th, 2020. Applications are due April 1st, 2020, and although it is April Fool's Day, this is no joke. Being selected to attend the Youth Leadership Forum is a distinct honor that you can be very proud of. Please take the time to apply. You'll have the time of your life. If you have questions or for more information about Youth Leadership Forum, contact Jenny at jennifer.newgar at wisconsin.gov or call 608-266-7707. What should I do if I need help filling out the application? Ask a friend, sibling, parent slash guardian, teacher, or contact Olivia Johnston, YLF director at 920-539-5640 or wisconsinylf at gmail.com. Dare to Dream Cafes, BPDD State Plan. Every five years, we write a plan with goals and activities to improve the quality of life for people with disabilities. We want your ideas on what we can do to help people with disabilities have more control over their lives and be more involved in their community. Your voice is needed. Who should attend? All are welcome. Self-advocates, families, caregivers, service providers, employers, policymakers, educators, health and safety professionals, any and all other community members. We currently have one cafe coming with open registration, but we have several other locations that will have registration open in the coming weeks. Fond du Lac Dare to Dream Cafe, March 31st, 2020, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Lakeland Care. Participation is free, but registrations are requested. You can register online by following this link. For more information or to request accommodations or interpretation, contact Molly Cooney at molly.cooney at wisconsin.gov. Follow the link to download the 2019 Impact Report. For more information about BPDD, Living Well Project Update. BPDD is excited to be one of eight states to receive a five-year federal project from the Administration on Community Living's projects of national significance aimed at increasing the health, safety, and well-being of people 
people with intellectual and developmental disabilities living in the community. As part of this work, BPDD selected six pilot sites, though an application process that provides support directly with people with disabilities to implement new strategies to build fuller lives. The Living Well Grant pilot sites have each developed a customized action plan to enhance services for the people they support. The focus areas are to strengthen self-advocacy, build awareness and engagement, improve the quality of direct supports, and enhance monitoring and reporting practices to keep people safe. The goal is to develop recommendations for a systemic change in Wisconsin that will provide more assess accessible reporting systems, better education for people with disabilities, and overall safer communities for people with disabilities. To find out more about the Living Well Project, you can head to our website here. You can also contact Sally Flashberger at 608-266-5038 or at sally.flashberger at wisconsin.gov. The Wisconsin Board for People with Developmental Disabilities is sponsoring a new self-determination project. The self-determination channel a YouTube channel by and for people with developmental or intellectual disabilities. The Self-Determination Channel stands out from other channels on YouTube because self-advocates host the videos and decide and create the content. The theme of the channel is Self-Determination is Empowerment. It was started to give self-advocates a place where they can be seen and heard, connect with others, and mentor each other. Our hope is that the channel can be used as a teaching tool and show examples of what is possible. Videos are being produced on topics self-advocates care about such as technology, employment, caregivers, living on one's own, and advocacy. Every Tuesday, a Tuesday's Tips video is posted on how to live a more self self-determined life. A question is asked at the end of each video. Viewers are encouraged to share their answers in the comment section. Links and additional information are posted below the video. To visit the self-determination channel, please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button. If you want to be notified every time we post a new video, click on the bell that is next to the subscribe button.